And this is my Aunt Petunia variety show. I have a really big, fun show tonight. I have my good friend Patty Gould, who is a stand up comedian, very talented. Um, she is running a little late. Um, that is not unusual for her. Um, I did give her an hour earlier time to kind of avoid this action. But anyway, we're, we're, we're waiting, and we're, and we're you know, we're, we're just, I'm just going to just hold on one second. Do you have her? Did you, did you blindfold her? Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Super. We gotta go to a big break. Patty Cool will be right back. Auntie, what's going on? Come on. You, you have you a blindfold on me. You tell me you're taking me out to a nice restaurant. We're sitting in some God only knows what. What is this joint? What do you mean, what is this? <laughs> this is the After Hours awesome studio. And I'm letting you sit in here. What are you talking about? Well, why am I here? What do you mean, why are you here? <laughs> you said you were going to take me someplace nice. <laughs> what, are you hungry, doll? I'm starving. All right, let's see what we got. Um, oh, he hello. Uh, welcome back. Um, okay, so... Um, I kind of sneakily got you in here, because for me to have a variety show, I need some talent. Oh, jeez. You know what I mean? Uh, so you picked me. I, I picked you, but, um, oh, God but I'm not you. taking it to lunch. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Jesus. But I do have some Mentos. Would you like a Mento? No. No. Well, you know, um, I don't know if you heard this or not, but I have keto crotch. A keto crotch? Yeah, you don't, you, do you know what that is? No. Oh, so, so there's this new lifestyle, and it's called keto. Oh, right? I've heard of that. Yeah, so you don't eat sugar, and you don't eat grains, yeah. right? Yeah. And, um, and I lost 100 pounds doing this. Wow. Right? But then the food industry didn't like people doing this, so they had a study done uh -huh. talking about if you do that, women will get this thing called keto crotch. <laughs> well, I'm not having any problems down there. But now, after losing 100 pounds, I can kindly finally see it again. <laughs> so I do call it, I got keto crutch. And Mentos isn't on that. Mentos is not on it. No, okay. but thank you for offering. Well, you're welcome. Well, Patty, just so you know, Patty is a comedian. And we met in Vegas many, many years ago. I love yeah, her. Yeah. I'm not going to spend any money on her. <laughs> but I love her. I wish we were in Vegas now. It's I wish we were 72 in Vegas. 72 degrees. Is it? Yeah. How, how have you been handling... Um, you, are you writing tons of jokes at home? Do you have some COVID jokes? Oh, not so much jokes, but like COVID has taught me a lot. Well, first of all, there's some positive things about COVID. Because like the whole mask thing. Yes. I get cold very easily. So like all went along, like going, wearing the mask, I kept my face warm. Oh, you know? so you like And I'm it. from Charlestown, Massachusetts. Ooh. And years ago, like if you went into a bank with a mask on in Charlestown, when you got your money, there'd be a red dye pack in it. You yeah, know well, what I mean? For sure, so, for sure. So there's some positive things to the COVID, you know? Yeah. But, but see, uh, they look at me like that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> mask or no mask. They see me walking in, Patty, a store or, a, or on anything, a bank. They're all, they're doing this. Keep an eye on that one. Secure. She's, uh, she's, a, little, she's a little nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's because they don't know you as much as I do. They, it's exactly yeah. it. Yeah. And, you know, I, I, um, I like to dress up. And you look beautiful. Well, thank I you very much. I love that fascinator. Isn't it great? It is. Yeah. Yeah. I think, we, you know, if you have it, I'm one of these people, I, I pretty much wear everything I have, everything I own. Like, this is just, this, all these are all my necklaces. Right. You know, just throw them on. You know, I agree with you 100%. You know, look, don't you hate those people that, like, they save things for, like, for good? Like, I go to Stop and Shop, and I've got, I'll get a fur on. You know what I mean? <laughs> Every day that I'm above the ground is good. That's what I think. Well, uh, my nephew, TC, TC, makes fun of me all the time. He's like, oh, Aunt, why are you doing? I said, I, I'm doing my thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The thing that really bummed me out was, was when Encore um, closed because of the COVID. Oh, oh. I was just getting used to that. Oh. The buffet. I made like 
32 cents one day? I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really lucky, Patty. No. I don't really have that Aww. going on. I did apply for a job there. Yeah. And uh, so I applied, and um, I didn't think that they noticed, but I actually kind of helped myself to the fruit. Kind of thought like it, that was like a free. I, I know they have the buffet you have to pay for, but they had the fruit, like the hand fruits. So I took like a couple of apples and a banana, and uh, I got this letter in the mail, and I thought, oh, this must be them asking me to come back because I had the, you know, the, got the, the job. The, I thought I got the job. No, they want the seven dollars and fifteen cents for the two mm. apples and banana. Get out of town. That wind has more money than. <laughs> God, for God's sake. And had, didn't you work for them at one point when I, you were in Vegas? Uh, yes, I did. I know. I thought I mean, they would so they remember. they owe you more than well, just maybe a couple they remember of some bananas. Of, yeah, maybe they <laughs> remember some of my other shenanigans. <laughs> 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 Which, you know, what happens in Vegas? You Gotta know, stay in Vegas. Just has to stay in Vegas. But it's so good to see you. It's good to see you, too. I'm actually jetting down to Vegas at the end of the month on the 22nd. Fantastic. Doing a long weekend. Um I have a good friend out there, and she's doing, she, she's in the cabaret show, and I'm like, why not? Absolutely. You might know her since you live in Melrose. She lives right in Saugus. You know that Christmas house across from Target? Yes, yes, yes. Well, her husband's like Mr. Christmas. He's a little crazy, and he likes lights. Oh, he clearly. ADB lights. And, clearly um, he does. Yeah, so they have a house in Vegas, too, so she's out there, and she's got this great show, so I'm going to jet out there. and You jet out. Just go there. Well, you know what you should and do. And I heard that comedy's opening up out there, too, so okay. maybe it will give me a little... I was going to say, why don't you pull an opportunity and then just get right on the stage? Yeah. Just push her right off. Get on the I'm stage, push her off, get a microphone, and just take that whole thing down. That's brilliant. <laughs> I know we were friends for a reason. Oh, my God, that's you brilliant. You go there under the guise of being a very supportive, going to be yep. in the audience kind of gal. You got the flowers. You got the flowers. Ready. You yeah. just happen to be overly dulled mm -hmm. and ready for the stage. Mm -hmm. And you just, you, and then you just say later, I don't know what, ha I don't know what happened. I just, I, <laughs> something came over me. That might be my big discovery. Oh, yeah, definitely. I think you're on to something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. As, as Billy Eichner would say, do you know who he is? He does the... Uh, um, on the street, he, he he asks questions on the street. Billy on the street, that's what it's called. <laughs> How clever. Well, that, boy, that took me a while. I'm 72 <laughs> now, so things are not coming as quick. I'm catching uh, but, up. But again. anyway, Billy says, I see a scene, and I steal it. And that's what I do. And that's what you're going to start doing. Oh. That's how you do it. See, I'm glad that you blindfolded me and brought me here. I'm going to pick up some tips here. Pick yeah, some, we tips. Have some of my methods are, are questionable, mm -hmm. but uh, but here you are, and you're having fun. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I just, uh, getting back to the outfit, like, I just love that sparkly shirt. It goes so, I mean, it's just, I love sparkles. I figure if you have enough sparkles, right, Yes. and enough uh, fancy jewelry, pretty shoes and pocketbooks and stuff, then no one's going to uh, notice your fat ass. You know? No one's looking there. Yeah. That you're right. Oh, You've good. caught them from the front. Right. Yeah. Right. And then, then I usually move very quickly so they don't have time <laughs> to see the back. I have over 50 hats, over 50 pocketbooks and shoes to match because you don't have to take your clothes off to buy accessories. That's correct. Yeah. That's correct. So that's yeah. why I got a lot. It makes me feel good to go and get like a lipstick. Just mm. new lipstick. Mm. Yeah. Doesn't break the bank. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But You're not never fully dressed without lipstick. Correct. I mean, See, I could be I mean. in my bloomers, but as long as I got my lipstick on, I'm okay. I think we're like sisters from like a past life. I think so, too. Don't you? I know. Oh, my goodness. Crazy. Patty Gould. <laughs> Patty Gould. This is, the, this is the talent, people. Keep your eye out. She may get in a little trouble in Vegas, so, you know. That's okay. It's, uh, I'll I think your nephew me. might have enough bail money for me, though. I don't know. You got, you got connections, right, yeah, with call, your nephew? Yeah. Call me. I will. Okay? I will. You might, I, I may have I given might, you too much to I know. I might, I might need a on. little bail money. <laughs> and Wouldn't I, be you the know, first I'm, time. I'm, you know, you're, what, you're 70-something. I'm catching up. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. have the assets that I used to have. So, <laughs> I don't know. can't talk my way out of... Yeah, exactly. That, my eyelashes anymore because I don't have any. But uh. Well, TC always <laughs> says to me... What now, Aunt Petunia? <laughs> Just like that. It's not very warm. No. He's usually right, though. I'm, you know, I, I'm a little needy. Oh. I, I don't drive, so I, have, I take the ride. Oh, yeah. interesting. And so for the longest time, I thought it was my ride, not the ride. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I would tell all these cars, no, that's not for me. I don't, you know, and I'd stand there all day. Then I'd call TC. And you'd be like, you're not the brightest bulb. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for coming to my show that you didn't know you were coming to. Uh, wow. You know, you got anything else in that pocketbook, though, besides um, a oh. Tic Tac or okay, something? And Oh, and, and about the pocketbook, too. Don't be putting that on the floor. Oh. Old Irish, you should know this, Auntie. <laughs> money, purse on the floor, money out the door. Oh. Very bad luck. Yeah, don't be doing that. Want some Sanka? Uh, I think I'll pass. Okay. How about one year I gave this to TC for his uh, for Christmas? <gasps> I'll take one of the little pink things. Take you a never pink know. thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, you never know when you're going to need that. Um, what else do I have? I'll put it someplace safe. You know, it's some very... Some gum. Very cold in this. Are there calories in that orbit gun? I don't know. I'm always, I, I like prizes. I like surprises, so. You can have this. Uh, I can? Yeah, don't tell TC. I won't. Well, wait, wait, wait. I gotta look, I gotta read that. You know, you gotta read that. Shit. I gotta keep my keto crotch, you know? I know. I don't want anything to happen to that. No. No? no. Okay. But the, the but that. I'll put a bow on it for. Uh, but the sweet and low is for pretty Christmas sweet for TC. I, that that's a great idea. Yeah, I that's just gave them idea. orange. So when I'm out in Vegas, I'll make sure I have a big pocketbook. Yes. I won't put it on the floor, but I'll get all the all the sugars and get stuff. Get all that the you sugars need, you can. And I'll, I'll give and you know you, we can buy it. Yeah, yeah. You know? Get what you can. I'll get I'll get everything you can. Yeah, yeah. just shove it right in. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Well, oh. clearly we connect on all sorts of levels. I know. All right. Patty Gould, thank you for coming oh. or being finagled <laughs> into being here. Well, you know, it's so funny that you, um, you wanted me to, you know, you said, oh, come and I'll take you to lunch and this and that. Because we were going out to eat, I set my clock fast so that I wasn't late because I'm always late. I know you are. And that's I why I was, got nervous and said, I better tell her one thirty. And you did a good job. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to let I want to let your friends in on a little secret. I've been late my whole life. At the age of nineteen, I got married because I was late. <laughs> oh, that kind of late. That kind of late. <laughs> I'm always late. Oh my goodness. But anyway, well, keep your eye out for this whippersnapper. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. I hope you enjoyed tonight's show. Patty Gould was fantastic. If you ever want to be on the Opportunity Variety Show, please follow the directions below. Also, if you just want to follow me on social media, you can follow directions below. Oh, hold on. I think I'm getting a call. Hello? Yeah, no. We, she, she was done a little while ago. What, what do you mean? What, what do you mean? What do you mean she took the limousine? What? How am I going to get home? What are we just, you, you as a chauffeur is just standing in the, the lobby? This is crazy. Alright, I'll be right.